the pyrovore. Okay, this is kind of like the uh, the most forgotten and ignored unit in the Tyranid Codex, and for good reason. Um, it wasn't good in the 4th edition, 5th edition Codex, and uh, wasn't good in this current one. Um, because it just doesn't have a way to get to its opponent. It's, there's a whole list of things why no one plays pyrovores, but many of us own models, um, and we use them for biovores because they're, they're frankly a better looking model than the biovore. Um, you know, there's always been a question, is there a way to make pyrovores good? Well, without, without mycetic spores, yeah, you couldn't even get them to your opponent, and so they're a forgotten unit. Well, I was, um, I was looking at some of the rules, trying some stuff out this weekend, and uh, I, I think I figured out a way to make pyrovores good. Uh, not excellent, just good. Um, and that's that's if Tyranids decide to take Stronghold Assault. Now, I know you have to embrace 6th edition. Stronghold Assault is a set of rules. Um, if you choose not to use it, then this won't help you at all. But there's two structures in Stronghold Assault that make Pyrovores actually useful. And, and they, they fall under the same set of rules. It's the Prometheum Relay Pipes. If you take this building, basically, um, it's it's actually battlefield debris, but it, but you take it for 40 points, you get three long and four short series of pipes. And I would suggest if you're using it for Tyranids, design something that looks Tyranid-esque, not like it's Imperial. Um, doesn't actually have a model yet. And what this does is this gives you a, a, a set of pipes. They give you a four plus cover save if you're behind them. Um, and they have the ability to wound you if you're standing behind them, if, if you pass a cover save, um, there's a chance you can get hit by an explosion. So I would avoid that, stand in front of them. But the real reason that these are useful is that any unit with a um, flamer weapon, as defined in the rule book, this guy's flamer weapon is designed um, as a flame weapon in the rule book, so it, it matches that description. So if you are have a flame weapon, then you can use the fuel siphon ability of Prometheum pipes. And this is an interesting ability. It changes any assault or uh, pistol weapon that's flamer into a heavy and gives it torrent. And as long as you're within two inches of the pipe, this works. So this means that pyrovores Pyrovores can have a torrent weapon within your deployment zone as long as they're standing near the pipe. So if you think about how you want to deploy guys and um, you know what to do with these things, it is actually possible to take a group of pyrovores and for the cost of just one pyrovore, you have a pipe relay system that gives you torrent, and that that's pretty good. I mean, you have a heavy flamer torrent at that point, which makes pyrovores, particularly against certain armies. Um, where their weapon's gonna punch through the armor makes pyrovores actually pretty good doesn't make them excellent because they're still They're still unable to get into your opponent's deployment zone But in terms of defending your deployment zone having a bunch of torrent heavy flamers is a pretty good option um, The other option in terms of stronghold assault is to take the void relay network which gives you both uh, Prometheum pipes and void shield generators as one fortification that's a it's an awesome option for Tyranids because those void shields protect you at least for a round um, of shooting and the uh, the Promethean pipes make these pyrovores good. So that's an interesting way to play, to play pyrovores and uh, I, I think it makes them good, not excellent, but good compared to what they were before.